Hi friends, this is Mangla Pratap and Murali Dharan talking to you from India. Be in the choiceless awareness. Experience the choiceless awareness. Your consciousness is absolutely categorized in duality or in binary oppositions. Our reality is absolutely inbuilt in our mind with these binary categories of good and bad, self and the other. Let's try to explore life beyond these binary categories of life. Let's try to explore life as uh, Totem Samuel says, as, as, as somebody who is experiencing oneness with this universe. We need to experience oneness in life, provided we could overcome this duality in our consciousness. We can create changes in every way possible. Our changes are going to really reflect the way we do things, the way we experience the finest changes in the world. We, we don't need to really attach any emotions with that. We don't, we don't need to really categorize them with our analysis. Because our tools of analysis, our tools of rationalization, our thinking, most of the time, is always caught in duality. Let's not really be the slaves of the duality. Let's try to explore life beyond this duality in our consciousness. These binary conceptions of reality that we have, uh, you know, automated. Rather, we have tried to make it our own. It is not innate, actually. That's one of the reasons why we say, think beyond these dualities. Rather, be an observer of dualities. Just flow with life, we say. Just flow with life as it is. Be an observer of life as it is. Create a realm of life where you, you are always a Buddha of yourself. You seem to be always observing all that is happening within you and outside you. That doesn't mean you don't need to engage. You need to engage yourself with the world. You need to engage yourself with everything that happens. I'm not asking you to dismantle the self. I'm asking you to dissolve the conscious programming of duality all the time instead. Just be with what you do. Be with whatever you love. Do what you love, do what you do. Without the attachment, sensual attachment, a selfish attachment, or selfish celebration of one-upmanship. That is the secret of a, a, a great service, a human service, the benevolence that you could possibly provide in this in this lifetime. That's why we say all that is great on the earth happens when you dissolve this duality in your consciousness. In other words, explore the unconscious realm of being one with whatever you do, whatever you think, whatever you love. But remember, never, never categorize them as the tools of rationalization. Because your tools of rationalization sometimes are categorized in this very consciousness of duality. Most of us understand that. Most of us try to explore it. That's why I say sedate calmness of meditation will help you to overcome that very idea of duality in our consciousness. Most of us, most of us understand this is a world of love. This is a world of oneness. This is a world of uh, all world of clarity. A world which all the time celebrates life beyond the citadels of the self. Let's celebrate life beyond the citadels of self. Then that's going to really help us achieve greater things. That would change the way we think, the way we do, the way we energize ourselves. So we could energize the mind. We could possibly energize our soul. We could energize life if we can think beyond the duality. That is the absolute uh, system of oneness. We need to be one with what we do. Let's celebrate life with all that we have. Let let the love be our tool of celebration, our tool of thinking, our tool of experiencing the world. That's why we say all religions, all religions state the coordinate of life is love. Love the world.
love thyself so love is the religion of all wish you all success have a great time if you want to know more about me visit me at www.manglapratabhan.com that is m a n g a l a p r a t h a b a n.com bye bye see you